Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbin. As, as you can see, hey, if they say we can't camp, we'll camp in our driveway. Exactly. It's a lovely 64 degree day in Vermont today, and we are going to do a cooking with Cindy episode. What's that going to be today? We are going to make naan bread. And if you're not familiar with naan bread, it is an Indian flatbread. And it's going to be a combination of me doing some of the prep work and Rich doing the grill work. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Perfect for camping because there's so many things you can do with it. Exactly. And for those of you that have bought all kinds of flour and yeast and don't know what to do, here's another option that will be great for you to try out at your own home or when you're finally out camping in the coming weeks. So come and join us. So we're going to start our recipe with a half a cup of warm water and we're going to put in a half a tablespoon of active dry yeast and we're going to pour that in. We're going to stir to dissolve the yeast. All right and we're going to set our timer for five minutes to let it go and proof. So while the yeast is proofing, I'm going to be doing my egg, which is just one egg. And since this is a large egg, I'm going to only use half of it. And I'll probably save half of it for something else. How's it feel to be back in the sub? Oh, it feels great. Even though it's not really ready to go yet, it's still uh, not dewinterized, but uh, it does feel great. So. While we're also proofing our yeast, we're going to prep our flour and we're going to add our dry ingredients. Our dry ingredients include two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and the optional one eighth of a teaspoon of gar powder. And we're going to just mix our dry ingredients together like so. I've seen a couple questions on the forums about when you're camping in your driveway, can I hook up to my house? Is that possible? Absolutely. And you can see we do it all the time. We just have a 30 amp to 15 amp connector, plugs into an extension cord, plugs into the house, and you can just about run everything except the air conditioner on this. As you can see, our five minute timer just went off. So we're going to add our wet ingredients to our flour mixture. We're going to start with one and a half tablespoons of milk, one half of the egg that I've already beaten because it was a large egg when you only need half of it. And we're going to add a portion of our yeast mixture. I say a portion because you don't want to add too much liquid at once. You just sort of want to see how much liquid your flour is going to take. We're just going to stir this into a soft dough. And we're going to add probably the rest of this. And I have some extra water just in case that's just not quite enough. So my cameraman has absconded. So hopefully this shot will work. I'm adding a little bit more water to this because you want to make sure that all your flour is absorbed. But you don't want your dough to be too wet either. So. Ooh, my cameraman has returned. Right, the cameraman was having to go get our cushions because we take everything inside, as I've said before. Um, and we're, I, we might be eating out here tonight. Oh, maybe so. That would be fun, wouldn't it? And we are about ready to knead this. We're going to add a little bit more flour to this, and we're going to knead it for about six minutes or so until it's nice and smooth. Are you using bread flour or AP flour for this? Actually, I'm using AP flour for this. This is really sticky. Um, I'm saving my bread flour for my starter because I have very little bread flour and it's been sort of hard to come by these days. So that's the thing with bread. You just kind of have to dive in and... It's a food of love thing, right? Yeah, you kind of got to dive in and not worry about getting your fingers dirty. Show that dough who's boss. Exactly. That's why I like using this bowl. This is a wooden bowl, um, antique bowl, that uh, it's perfect for kneading dough because it keeps the flour in one spot and you're not spreading it around all over the place. Do we take that on the airstream with us? Yes, we do. 
because the minute that stay at home order gets lifted, we are out of here. And of course, we always like to say that owning an RV is like fixing things in beautiful places. And just because you're in your driveway doesn't mean you stop fixing things. Today's new improvement was to fix the latch on both the converter and the furnace latch, which broke about five years ago. We've been looking for one of these things forever, having to duct tape them whenever we travel. But uh, Cindy finally found them on a place called I think e-trailer e-trailer.com.com and we are ordering four more of these puppies because that was a jackpot find fixing things in the driveway so as you can see your dough is kind of looking smoothish and so this was about after about five to six minutes of kneading it is a stickier dough than most doughs but i attribute that to the egg so we're going to put this into a lightly oiled bowl Cover it with oil and we're going to cover it with the little lid there and we're going to let it sit for an hour. Is that lid on your Pinterest board? Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. We'll have to look into that. So the only downside to this recipe is it might be a little bit messier than some of the other ones that I've done. I've done a really good pizza dough that's great for boondocking. This might be a better recipe if you have some full hookups. So, and because we're not de quite yet. We're having to do the dishes inside. Yep. It's been an hour since we've let our bread rise and it's looking pretty good. So we're gonna pull it out and place it on this parchment paper. And we're going to cut it into small pieces. And each of these little small pieces are gonna be shaped into a ball. These are balls are eventually going to be rolled out into the non breads. So I'm cutting it in half, and then I'm into quarters. This recipe makes between 10 and 13. So they they wanna be just sort of about a golf ball size. So we are going to cover these with a cloth and let them rest for 30 minutes while Rich fires up the grill. Okay, while the non bread is doing its final rise, I've gone out and started up our grill. And I know there's nothing more contentious than grills except for tow vehicles and payload capacity. But I know that question comes up. What grill do you use? And we here at Love Summon have always used a Weber Little Smoky. And that's because even here at home, my big grill is a Weber charcoal grill. And I am proud to be in my 53rd year and have never owned and will never own a propane fired grill. So we love our little Weber. This thing's about 17 years old, standing up quite well. We love the charcoal. Plus we can use the charcoal for our Dutch oven. Everything has to have dual purpose. Sounds good. So I love it. It smells like we're actually camping in here because the fire is going outside. We are getting ready to roll out our nan bread. So this is, the, this is actually the, kind of the fun part, I think. So all you need is just a little a flour on your board here. And we have a, this is, this is my rolling pin that I use for the Airstream. And it's a little bitty one but it does the job. So as you can see, in the 30 minutes, our non bread has risen. And we're just gonna take one of these guys. So if you didn't have a rolling pin, what would you use? Um, I think a wine bottle or yeah. something like a, a uh, yeah, something like that. But this, this thing is really small and easy to store. And so whenever I need a rolling pin, that's exactly where I go. So about the size, and then you could just sort of stretch it out a little bit. So what's the size of maybe like a pancake? Yeah, about the size of a pancake. So. <laughs> All right. So there's one for you. All right, I'm gonna go set up the grill and she's gonna roll out the rest of them. 
Okay, Cindy's rolled them out. We're just gonna plop them right on the grill. Oh yeah. Nope, the one's stuck. Nope. We're gonna give them a light brush of oil on this side. It's gonna be taking about two to three minutes. Yeah, aside. not long at all. It's like they're puffing up nicely, huh? Yep. Okay, you can see here I've coated them in olive oil and now we're gonna give them a flip. Oh, oh looking good. yeah. You need to give that side a coat of olive oil too now, right? Yep. So how do we do, C? Looks, they look fantastic. Don't they look delicious? Yeah, not too bad. 12 perfectly cooked on breads. So what's next on the docket? Uh, we're gonna do some fish tacos. So I think we're gonna cook up some fish and we have some coleslaw going. And I think we're gonna have a yummy dinner tonight. Should be pretty good. Looking forward to it. But that's non bread on the grill. And we're gonna show you how to stuff them. Yep. So we're, we are cooking the fish inside because you know we don't have everything hooked up yet. So. Oh, but we could have cooked it, but we're not going crazy. This is Gas pretty, is hooked up. And... This is looking pretty spectacular. That just has to rest for a few minutes and we could shred it and instant fish tacos. Well, this is a first for us. We have never, ever had dinner in our driveway in 18 years. Right, but I think 2020 has been a crazy time for everybody. Right, but you know, we're making the best of it and I hope you yeah. are too and you're staying safe and healthy and we're gonna have a great night tonight yeah we're gonna enjoy our non bread which looks amazing our coleslaw it's slaw it's wilted it's it's wilted cabbage coleslaw yep and our seared fish yep so if you like this video definitely give us a big thumbs up right and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and leave a comment below if you are camping in your driveway and if you think that's a good idea and when you're hoping to get out. Exactly. We come out with RV and Airstream related videos every Tuesday, just like this one. And the occasional awesome cooking with Cindy's. Yep. Thank you for watching.